on in for a tour of our fifth wheel. In fact, when we first started RV travel, we had a motorhome and then upgraded to a fifth wheel to give us so much more space. This is our daughter's bedroom. Is your bedroom? We actually took out the sofa bed that was here as it was really large and when we would open it, we weren't able to access all of these cabinets. As now, we have a simple toddler bed here that is really cozy for Lucia. And so okay. we have put in a library here for her with all of her books, as well as there's so much more books and toys in all these cabinets. There's just so much room. It's, don't judge me, it's really disorganized. <gasps> but it's all of her toys. Clothes that don't fit anymore, clothes in transition. There's so much space here. And then, so I'm gonna take down the bunk so you can really see. It's really easy to come down. We just never really have it open because we only have one child. But in the future, if she'd ever have some friends sleep over, this is great. Has a window here. And so this is the perfect space. We chose this unit because our daughter was able to have her own room that oh, we could close the, the door. It has a latch here so that when we travel, the door doesn't open, doesn't close or open. And that's it. That is our toddler's room as a full-time travel family. And so another reason why we chose this unit is for the actual dinette area. It's actually a real table. It gets extended when we're parked. It has four real chairs that have straps that are tied down to the ground for when we're, when we're moving. We bought some Ikea cushions to kind of try to protect the chair. Oh, this is really neat actually, as it opens and we're able to store some stuff. Ooh, Lucy's cleaning, I forgot about that. As that just gives you extra space for storage. Talking about storage, check this out. As we open our TV up, we have all of this extra space that I didn't even know we had when we bought it. So we keep all of like our kitchen appliances here, waffle maker, Instant Pot, toaster, food processor, and then this is all of Lucia's arts and crafts stuff. Play-Doh, paint, all the things are kept here hidden away from her. Perfect. Welcome to the living room. This folds out into a bed. We have storage up here. We've gotten pictures done off mixed tiles so that we can have a family vibe in our room. Lucy's gonna show us all about our fireplace which usually this is all that we'll use for heat. Oh, and it turns on a light to give us some ambiance. Hi. You like it? Yes. Don't you like watching movies here? Yeah. Yeah? You enjoy the nice couch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We love watching so movies here. It also vibrates, has lights, get a massage. That's nice. Leans back. Luxury life, Lucy. This is our dog, lives full time in the RV with us. This is where he likes to sleep or he's got a bed in our room, which we'll get to shortly. Welcome to the kitchen. One of the things that we dislike about living in an RV, especially as a cooking family, we really like to cook, is that we're constantly having to do dishes. Making pizza in the RV. Where this just gets overloaded if we don't keep up with it. 
because there's no dishwasher. However, we do love our full-size fridge. So it's a normal double residential basically size fridge. Mm. We can uh, definitely that. put a lot of stuff in it. So things we like about this fridge is it's dual propane and electric. So when we do not have enough electricity, let's say if it's 30 amp, we can use the propane to cool down the fridge or when we're traveling, it will keep all our stuff cold because it will use the propane. Things I do not like about it, it do not have a defrost cycle. So it will accumulate huge, it's just really, really stuff, but it will accumulate huge amount of ice at the back of your freezer that you have to defrost once in a while. Uh, so P.S. Ilya is an appliance repair business owner, technician, appliance expert. So having this fridge was really important for him to have a normal size fridge. Yeah, normal size fridge definitely is important because the smaller ones, the 12 volts ones, like you will find yourself running a lot for groceries because things run out. Really love our gas stove because it really heats up quickly, cooks precisely. And we have a oven, which we've been using for baking. We make cakes and cookies and just roasting vegetables. Microwave, always a bonus. And there's a filtration vent system connected to it. We don't have so much storage in our kitchen. Again, don't judge my cupboards. But my dad helped me put in an extra shelf here. So it at least divides the space up um, a lot better than if that wasn't there. And down here, we just have like a little pantry. When you move into an RV from a house, you downsize and you get used to having less things and you make the best of it. But we really do have a lot of storage. Like I've got food up in these, in these compartments up there. We truly have a lot of space. And so you'll see that we have more pictures here that we've put on. It's, it's just a magnet. I'm not really sure what's going to happen when we don't have the RV anymore. But anyways, I really wanted to add something that makes it a home for us. As it is, as it truly is our home. So up here we have a bunk. Which is basically being used by storage and all of our, our boots. But it's a queen size bed up there with lots of pillows. It's pretty cozy. Here's our electrical panel where we turn on all the lights. Inside, outside, our, we have two awnings that we control from here. Everything gets controlled from here. We have a nice little window here. I don't know. Let me get to the bathroom. So on the bathroom door, we've added a towel hanger. Great for hanging towels. We've added quite a few of these plastic hooks throughout the RV uh, just to help with extra storage. So what's really cool about this bathroom is of course the shower, which is really large compared to other RVs. However, I have seen some that do have bathtubs, but yet our toddler just got comfortable with taking showers. We, we bring down the, the um, shower head for her. Speaking of this too, we've changed it. A lot of people might not know this as RVers, but it's a good idea to change it so you can get more water pressure. So we've upgraded ours. Before it was a matching black, which which is nice, the matte black, but I'm all for having way better water pressure. And I think Benny is too. This is how our dog gets water. And now for the bedroom. So this is a king size bed inside our 45 foot fifth wheel. Super cozy. Have a little bit of shelving for the both of us. We have lots of storage space for our, our clothes. This is where the dog sleeps. And plus we got put in a washing machine and dryer. Most of the time we're drying the clothes outside anyway, but being able to wash in here is a big advantage, especially traveling with, with a toddler. We're always doing laundry. And so also the laundry machines, the laundry mats in campgrounds are super expensive and can add up. 
so we're happy to have it in in here we have so much storage space closet space in here for both of us plus a little bit of storage on this side and let me show you what's underneath the bed to give us even more storage space just back up Ilya. So we store all of our winter stuff, all of our Christmas decorations, all sorts of stuff is in there. Many campgrounds that we arrived, especially state parks, uh, did not have good water. You will start feeling the taste right away that something is wrong. When you make a coffee, it will be different. So we were trying to find some kind of water, water filtration situation solution for us and i found the company water drop like that does reverse osmosis like filters like which will also show you the amount of particles in the water so not only based on that i can judge how good is the water in the campground i can also be safe drinking this water well. after it goes through that reverse what? osmosis so this is our little outdoor kitchen amazing when the baby is sleeping and you want to spend some time outside it makes life much easier so we have a nice griddle this can be mounted outside of our camper and our uh, nice little fridge here with our beverages and uh, ready to go. Usually we'll put both of our barbecues right here on the table and this is our outdoor living. We have lots of storage here. We're getting ready to move actually so we're organizing stuff. This is all of our dog food, toys, workout stuff. You see it goes full through, so if you had some like golf clubs, they would fit in here nicely. We just have all of the baby stuff in plastic totes. Somehow all of this is going to go in there. So this will definitely, some stuff will go inside. Uh, the stroller like always will go inside the big storage and that new, new Lucy's uh, stroller bike attachment we'll f have to figure out but it probably will also have to go there so stay tuned how we actually packed it all so this is the side of our mechanical compartment we have our starling here uh, amazing uh, the barbecues and the table will go right there all the plumbing also will go right there um, Ontario where is we have a travel day today so I want to show you how we get ready to move with our 45 foot fifth wheel so our slide out for our bedroom comes in just like that this should be secured everything is secured bathroom everything comes out of the bathroom storage area there that's fine and so all of this will get pushed in we have to take everything off the stove area everything kind of goes in the sink Christmas tree Lucy's room is already closed up well we're traveling today look at that oh, it's a whole slide out Look, it's closing. Look, there goes our camper closing. Everyone is 
Can you imagine exploring North America in a 45-foot fifth wheel with your toddler and German Shepherd dog? Join us, the Freedom Champagne family, as we take you on a virtual tour of our travels and show you what it's like to travel full-time as a family in an RV. Subscribe now to live vicariously through us and explore North America with us. From discovering new campgrounds and cities to meeting amazing people, join us on this wild ride as we make memories that will last a lifetime. Subscribe and travel along with us today.